had some interesting person, you know, joking with the readers and uh, rewriting Miss Britney Spears' um, song, Criminal. Because, Mama, I'm in love with a criminal. And it's a lie, it's a rational, it's physical. If you remember the song, I um, rewrote the music, the lyrics, and just listen to the words, okay? I'm in love with a nasty nigger. It is so right, it's irrational, it's physical. Mama, please don't cry, I will be alright. <laughs> yeah, let's see, it's still something like it. He is a nasty nigger from the hood. He is a nasty nigger, how I wish I could. <laughs> I tried to make it rhyme, but. You know, I like to make people laugh and people would, you know, be have, have like, um, a good time and, you know, think of happy and it's funny, joking, you know, but really, I don't like to mess with thugs and gangsters. I don't like to mess with crazy nutcase. Because thugs and gangsters are suicidal motherfuckers. I don't like to mess with motherfuckers. Dumbass bitch, you know. So, excuse my language. Thugs and gangsters, hillbillies, I don't like to mess with those kind of cool masks. And rednecks, I don't like to mess with them because they're dumb with, and a motherfucker and they're dumb as fuck. They're stupid people, ignorant, crazy. And the ignorant hillbillies are the dumbest species on this planet. They're the ugliest species on this planet. Has everybody lost their mind to even think that I would give them the time of day? I don't like hillbillies, rednecks, kunas, stalking me sexually, sexually harassing me, bugging me, bothering me. I'm not desperate, I'm not flirting with hillbillies. Y'all ugly motherfuckers, go away. Stop following me around, stop stalking me sexually. All of you ugly motherfuckers, you ugly. Go away. Go fuck off. I'm not desperate for you. I'm not sexually interested in you. You're not my boyfriend. You're not my dates. You're ugly. You're butt crack ugly. You're supermodel ugly. Stop following me around. Stop stalking me. Stop putting words in my mouth. Stop brainwashing me. I don't associate and affiliate with ugly. But crack ugly, trashy, filthy, nasty, disgusting, quarters, unsanitary, dysfunctional, non classy, non class. I do not, from 1977 to 2020, I have never lived as a hoarder. I have never lived in fields and trash. I've never lived and make mess or trash everywhere or anywhere. I don't pollute. I don't pollute this planet or earth. Because I was and am still an ecology student. Well, I was an ecology student. I wanted to be an ecologist. But I lost my connection with my teachers and everyone so I couldn't be an ecologist, but I made straight A's all year round on every classwork, homework, and schoolwork. So, quiz, exams, I faced all of it, and I know nothing about ecology. I know nothing about physical science, but I do passed it. I made it to the honor of society. I aced everything in ecology class. I aced, I don't even know, I don't even know Spanish, and I aced every homework, classwork, quiz, exams, test, I passed it all. I became Einstein overnight. It's like doing a project, like, I, I was like, how does people build a house? How does people build a car? Nobody ever taught me, and when people pass away, the job goes with them. Their training, skills, education, everything goes with them. When I walk
watch YouTube. I learn as I am going from schooling or learning. Um, you know, take it's like learning going to school on my cell phone. So I uh, I watch and I glance and I can learn something. It's like if you teach me something and you're teaching too fast, you're training too fast, if I have a headache, it won't absorb into my mind. But at times I still can remember and memorize things. And then I figure it out myself. So, you know, like the cash register at Burger King. My manager, she trained me, but she trained way too fast and she's feeding and whatever. But I was like, month or two and I'm like, man, I don't think I can do this, you know. But when my headache is gone, it took me two months from getting my rid of my headaches and migraines. I finally can sleep. I had enough sleep and I went to work and I became like Speedy Gonzalez. Everything finally sinks in, absorbing and then now, you know, people are training me. Everybody was training me and this is what happened. Everybody was training too fast. It doesn't absorb and soak into my mind. And then when it's time, everything just automatically. I never, I never learned anything from anybody because they said too fast, training too fast. So at times I say, okay, I'm gonna look at these every single word myself, and I'm gonna do it myself. So when I did it. I finally did it. It's like it came to me like a natural. So I I do have problems with coupons, but now I'm learning, and then I, you know, it goes in one ear and go out the other. But now I'm getting it. I I can never learn. But this is the thing. When I got it, I really got it. It's like, but the manager needs to stop harassing me. My job needs to stop harassing me, the manager needs to stop harassing me, and stressing me out, because right when I'm about to quit, then, right when I'm about to quit, then everything, I became a professional, it's like, everything, I'm doing everything fast, so I don't have no problems and issues with typing in, ringing customers up, taking orders. I don't have a problem with that. I've been doing it since the past month or so. I've been getting good at it. But every time I was about to, okay, get good at it, the manager starts starting shit with me and starting tr trouble with me. That is stressing me out, and I'm biting my tongue to work, close my eyes, and work, make that money, work those hours, and make that money, and let it go in one ear and go out the other. But now the manager, Miss Joy, has been going way over the line with me. She's going too far, harassing me, and I need to report that to the general manager. She's gone too far with me. And I'm gonna put my foot down, but I need to make the next three more weeks or two now to the end of the year. Once I make that, I I talk to the manager that hired me, and I'm sick and tired and fed up with Miss Joy harassing me like that, and everybody see what's going on, and I haven't said nothing, a single word about anybody or to anybody, but Miss Joy is, has been going harassing me every day like that for the past three weeks and she needs to stop harassing me that's what she needs to do she needs to stop following me around asking me what are you doing what do you think i'm doing i'm working i'm going to work i'm working that's what i'm getting paid to do i'm working i'm not being lazy and I'm stocking up cups, lids, straws, napkins, sweeping, mopping, doing washing dishes, I'm doing drive-thru. 
what is that word that they always use? Escalate. Escalate. Whatever, bagging the food up. Whatever that terminology they're, <laughs> they're using. Excavate or something. But I'm bagging the food up. And I'm sending it over to the window. I the window. Putting ketchup in. Asking for customers do they want condiments? Ketchup. Sauce. Making the customers food. Making, uh, not making their food. I don't make their food. I don't wrap up their food. I just bag it up and send it to the drive thru. And I make their drinks. Ask them what their drinks are. I'm still getting in trouble. And then when I hang out the window, because I'm looking to see how long it takes for the next car to come, because I know there's a car coming. What are you doing sticking your head out the window? I'm not being lazy. I'm looking for the car. I'm looking for the right customers that's going to be the next in line to ring them up. And I still get in trouble. No matter what I do, I still get in trouble. I'm not bugging nobody. I'm not bothering nobody. I'm just ringing up, like I was told to, ring up the customer. Take the cash. Take the credit card. Put it in the register. Or credit card machine. And I'm still getting bitched at, yelled at, and harassed by the manager, Miss Joy. No matter what I do, they never happen. You know? I refill everything, wipe down everything, clean everything, make sure everything is clean. Clean the ice cream machine. And then when the um, fountain machine gets clogged up, it's full of uh, soda. It's not draining. I'm about to take a bucket and scoop out all the water, all, all the soda. What are you doing? Miss Joy is asking. What are you doing? What does it think? What does it look like I'm doing? I'm cleaning. I'm draining out all the soda from the fountain. She stoop. Yell at me. Why are you doing that? What do you think I'm doing? If I don't find something to do, I don't want to get yelled at. I don't want to be bored. That's what I'm getting paid to do. I'm working for Burger King. What does it think? What does it look like I'm doing? She asked the dumbest questions, stupid questions. If I don't clean out that, nobody will. Everybody's making a mess. They don't clean up after themselves. And I'm the only one that cleans around the, around the clock. I clean the fountain machine. I dump out, you know, the, the soda that's clogged up into a bucket. And I still get in trouble. What do you think I'm doing? You being lazy? No matter what I do, I still get shot, yelled at, harassed, mocked, insulted. Oh, she assaulted me, you know? She's nuts. Miss Joy is nuts. I don't like her. I don't get along with her. She's crazy. She wasn't like that before, but she's getting corny and crazy. Every day. You know, it's just nonsense. And I'm very fed up with it, but I still bite my tongues. I lick my wounds and just close my eyes and work until I make enough money to pay for everything that I need to pay for. Like my land in Arkansas. Pay off my land. And then pay off my property tax for the next 20 years. So that'll be, and the next two months, I'll make enough money to um, pay off my land in Arkansas. Maybe make enough money to pay for the U-Haul and make enough money and save up enough money to um, do whatever I need to do. I paid for all of my dress already, so I got that out of the way, I paid for all my dress, and then I paid, I'm going to pay for my land, and then pay for my property tax, so 
to 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. So let's say every week I make $300. So two weeks I make 600. 6, 12, 15. So one, two, two and a half weeks I make 1300 But that 800 goes to the land. And then the property tax is seven dollars each year. So it's seven times ten months is seventy dollars. So I can do that. Um, I can manage to do that. Um I need a scooter. I need to save up money to buy a scooter so I don't have to paddle on a bike. I get tired, overwhelmed, old age is catching up to me, and I'm done being a cheapskate. <laughs> but I need to budget and spend my money wisely so I can get a scooter so I can get to work faster than on bike. And then 